I am so excited to be sharing this experience with you guys. Uh, it's just... I, I love this game with my entire heart and soul. I know this game like the back of my hand. I'm going to be beating this 100% because that's what I just do whenever I play this game now because that's what I'm used to doing. New save file. Bwow. I have spent my life searching for the answers, the answers that my father fathers, and, my, and father's my father's fathers failed, failed to find. find. Who, Who were, were the precursors? precursors? It begins with but a so small, small act of, of disobedience. disobedience. Continue your search for artifacts, Nico. Beep beep. Ah, the nostalgia. I haven't played this game in such a long time. Okay, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. What in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Oh, Instead Thanos. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the, the two of you went mucking, mucking around in the, the only place, place that, that I told, I told you, you not to go. To go. Misty, Misty Island. Island. There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Ackeron, the, the sage. sage. But he lives far, far to the to north. north. Far, far, far to, to the north. north. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't, you can't just, just walk, walk through, through it, it. But, but you could, could fly, fly over it. it. Oh, Carrie is so hot. Although I don't know if, if I should be saying this because, like, Kara and Jack are both like 15 in this game. Getting, getting used to the controls again. So like. Oh, snappy. Oh, I love it. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, I'm gonna show you why I'm fucking scared of the ocean. Oh god, it's so loud! Nani? Dude, I forgot they enhanced the sound for the remaster. Oh god! Oh, I forgot how slippery Jack can be sometimes, but it's alright. At least they fixed the controls in the next game. All right, we're going to be collecting 101 of these. Dude, this game holds up so well. So slippery, dude. With Blue Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have lain dormant for years. And what's great about this game as well is that there's no loading scenes, except for when you die or when you're teleporting. Everything in this game just transitions into each other in the gameplay. There's no loading. Jump once, and jump again in the air when the, this game came out in 2001, and it holds up so well. Like, this just showed off everything the PlayStation 2 could, like, do at the time. And I'm still surprised it looks this good. The character animations are fucking fluid as hell. Hey, baby! What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-grab zoomer? Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Implied bestiality. Listen, Animal abuse. If you need something to keep you busy. Yeah, I always go to the jungle first because you turn on a switch that activates the eco vents in the beach. So then you can do everything in the beach in one go without having to backtrack. Um... And I just like doing the jungle first, because it's got a cool boss. Fuck. 90 precursor orbs. It ain't even that much, it's just a bitch trying to get it, because like each place has a limited amount of precursor orbs. Alright, real quick, I just want to get these orbs and then jump down under this bridge where there's a scout fly. And then I'll go in behind this hut, where there is also a scout fly. I know this game like the back of my hand. I could play this game for hours and hours and play it over and over again and never get bored. Anyway, uh, would you them. be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. Okay, fun fact. If we come over here and have a look at this map that he's using, 
If you got the game when it came out, when it first came out on PS2, it came with a limited edition map, and it basically showed every area in the game, and it was like a journal, and it gave backstory and lore on every character. I still have that map somewhere, I don't know how much it's worth. But um, basically, this guy is apparently Jack's uncle, which is weird, because he's never mentioned or brought up in any of the other games. Now, according to the official Jack and Daxter wiki page, this is his uncle. But according to the journal that I have, it's not even mentioned that he's his uncle, but he is just called the Explorer. Now, there are some theories basically going on about, like, the, they mentioned the next games, and all, I have to, all I'm going to say, shut up, all I'm going to say is that it, like, it, it incorporates time travel, which is basically the basis of the story. But, um, it's, it's cool. It's cool stuff. The story doesn't make a lot of sense when you really think about it, but like, it does at the same time. It's just a good story. First game's pretty simple, but second and third go fucking nuts. Like, Naughty Dog just goes balls to the wall with her. Alright. Another fun fact about the Jack and Daxter series, um... While it was being worked on, the people at Insomniac, who are currently working on Ratchet and Clank, uh, partnered up with Naughty Dog to help them make this game. Uh, and then, in return, Naughty Dog gave Insomniac the rights to use the engine, which is why Ratchet and Clank looks fucking gorgeous for its time as well. So, uh, Ratchet and Clank 2 had Jack 2 Easter Egg in their Metropolis level, and then Jack 2 has a billboard with Ratchet and Clank's faces on it somewhere in Haven City. Ah, oh, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now, now I can, can sleep, sleep in, in peace. peace. Take this parasol for your trouble. You fucking lazy old bastard. I'll take it. I'll steal any more you have. Scout fly. Also, fun fact, it is possible to beat this game without collecting any precursor orbs. Hello, I hated these things as a kid. They were really hard for me to kill because I was just bad at the game. Also, for some reason in this game, there's a glitch for like this part of the this part of the game where like the precursor orb collection sound is different. It's only for this part of the game, and I never understood why. I still don't really know, but um, it's whatever. And it's not just on specific copies, because it's the same for the PlayStation 3 HD remaster, it's the same for the PlayStation 2, and it's the same for this. Uh, I'm assuming it's the same for the PS Vita as well. You compare it to a game like Grand Theft Auto 3, which came out in 2003, and everything in that game looks like fucking cardboard. And then this looks like it could have come out in like 2008 and still like held up. Alright, real quick, I just want to stand in the middle of this beam so I get blue eco. Then we'll smack this down. Alright, and then I just cheese the power cell, so instead of having to go all the way down there and open up an eco vent to get this power cell, you just stand in that beam and then run across here. Actually, real quick, I just want to jump down here. Oh fuck, I fucked that up! Oh, I mistimed that so hard. I get out of fucking way. Those tentacles are annoying as hell. Alright. Alright, so that's that area sorted. Next, we are gonna jump down here and do fishing with this guy real quick. Quick mini game so we can use the boat to get to Misty Island. Them monsters patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing rig. And now they're gobbling up me catch. No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power cell if you can catch 200 pounds of them critters. And then I'll let you and Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. You want to try the challenge? Yeah. Right. There are two types of good fish to catch. One pound fishies and five pound fishies. Okay. If you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers. And you'll poison the whole darn catch. Oh Stay shit. 
There we go. I'm gonna see if I can do it without missing a single fish. Here comes a big one! Oh shit, that was close. All right, Brody, do me a solid. Do you want? Do you want to make? Do you want to make some moolah? Do you want to make some money? All right. Uh, when the stream's over, uh, come back onto my channel and download the, the video. It should be like maybe an hour and a half to two hours worth of footage. And I want you to edit it up and make like a fully edited let's play for me, and I'll pay you a hundred dollars for it, gangster. You actually got to get it done though, right? Because this is like. Important. Don't you worry, you fine little ass. All right. I don't know if my ass is fine per se. Ow! All right, died. That's cool. I was right behind you, Jack. Really, I was. Ah, yeah, you're funny, Daxter. Thankfully, it only pops me back there. Jump up here, it should be a monster. Alright. I'll get this temple over and done with so I can end the stream. There's a really fun boss fight in here. I, it used to be really hard for me as a kid and I had to get my dad to do it for me. Because Baby Toast just fucking sucked at video games. Alright, jump down here. These parts used to trip me out as a kid as well. Like just little elevator sections. Sick gang. So. Alright, let's go activate the blue eco switch. It's a little disorientating how you can hear like the outside noises, which shouldn't work. But it's whatever. Alright, let's go grab this power cell, turn the switch on. Here real quick, hold on. And jump up here. Fuck. Ooh. 
There's sound design. Oh, you're really, really gonna do that to me? Okay. I pressed X, not... Oh, I think I know what I did on X. My bad. Alright, boss time. Come on. This is like some Super Mario kind of shit. I don't know why it reminds me of that. Alright. So he's gonna pop out some enemies and we have to destroy them. Uh, when their spikes are gone, obviously. As well as avoiding this guy's biting. And then once we've smacked the enemies... Oop, he's gonna take another bite. And he's gonna put out his fucking leaves for us to jump on. So we can take a pot shot at him like that. I'm just gonna do it one more time, this time with three enemies that we have to smack. It's all easy as fuck though. Really man? Stop being a fag. And there we go. And now, we got a power cell. Trophy earned, black thumb. Okay, really quick, this guy's got orbs stuck in his head, so we want to jump on that. Oops, bonk. There should be five orbs in his head. Pretty sure, just making sure, yep, only five. Alright, next, we're going to take the Dark Eco, Blue Eco, sorry, jump up here, get the last orbs for this area, and boom, that should be this area done and dusted. Now we're going to return to the mayor, get the power cell. I think it's good for me to be playing a game like this again. Um takes my mind off things, helps me relax. Not only am I doing it for my job, but like, it's just so much fun to be replaying this game. The reason I love this game so much is because it's the first game I ever played. I started jamming it when I was about two with my dad. Naturally, he did most of it, but like I sat with him and helped him hold the controller and stuff. And then when I was about four, I started playing it by myself and I just, oh, it was so good. What a wonderful sight! I thank you. You're welcome. The entire village will thank me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed Keep my, my re-election. Re and for that, my boy, you've earned a power cell. Why, thank you. I'm gonna use this to go help turn my friend back into human. He looks like a fucking rat right now. Trophy earned. Shiny, happy steeples. All right, let's trade some power cells real quick. So, uh, you, uh, not power cells, precursor ropes, my bad. A, a sizable one, I hope. <laughs> oh, it is a sizable contribution. I, well, 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 I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. Um, it, yeah, sure. You're welcome for the money. You basically paid us to give you money. Not sure how that works, but you know, whatever. Economics is going to shit. Alright, let's give this guy 90 precursor robes and then we'll I end the stream. Two are back to make the trade. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on? Mm-hmm. There you I go. I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, Cheerio ta -ta, ta -ta, bye, bye bye bye. And that is the last time we're ever going to see Jack's uncle. Unless we come back and stare at him through the window. But like... This is the last, this is the first and only times we'll ever speak to him in the entire game, in the entire series to be exact. But anyhow, thank you guys so much for coming to the stream of Jack and Dax the Precursor Legacy. I will be streaming this again some point tomorrow, um, and I look forward to it. Uh, I'm going to end up editing these uh, streams into like little stream highlights and full let's plays that I can put on YouTube. I uh, got my friend doing the first one for me. He's going to see how it turns out, and if he's good, then he can do the rest of the series. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming, and I will see you next time.